Welcome dear learners. Today we are going to see one act play. I am Pratima Shri, Assistant Professor, Department of English. The trick is a written by Erisa Kiron. This is one act play. Now we can see author introduction. Erisa Kiron is one of the prolific writers in Ugandan literary scene. He is poet, playwright, columnist, critic, editor and teacher. He was greatly influenced by the plays of J.M. Singe, the Irish writer. The trick is an adaptation of Singe play, The Shadow of the Glim. The same storyline was used. However, he transposed the setting skillfully into African life. Introduction to play In Sin's play, a tramp knocks at the house for shelter and finds Nora, the lady of the house, beside the corpse of her husband Dan. As she goes out in search of Michael, Leaving the tram to keep watch, Dan gets up and reveals that he has been feigning death to expose his wife. On Nora's return, hearing Michael proposing to her, Dan rises and kicks her out of the house. The interesting twist at the end of the play occurs when Nora leaves not with Michael but with the tramp who assures her a life of real freedom. Kiron has used the same storyline but his skillful transposition of it into an African setting endorses his position as one of the eminent figures in the Ugandan literary scene. The characters are Kalikesi, a rich old man, Kamuli, his wife, musician, a man who helps Kamuli and marries her at the end, Kayungu, a herdsman. Setting The Trick, a one act play based on The Shadow of the Glen by J.M. Singe, transposed into an African setting. Summary Erisa Kirond is a prolific writer in Uganda's literary circle. The one act play, The Trick, is based on Sin's play, The Shadow of the Glim. Kamuli is a young woman. She marries an elderly, wealthy man, Kalikesi, for his money. Kalikesi hits her and suspects her very often. She is not happy with the married life and waits for an opportunity to take away his money after his death. Kalikesi pretends as if he is dead to expose Kamli's inner mind. Kamli goes in search of Kalungu, a herdsman, to summon Srishti, the sister of Kalikesi. She asks the musician to accompany the dead body. The musician Majangwa agrees to remain there. When the musician is alone, Kalikesi gets up. The musician is surprised by the sight of the dead man moving. Kalikesi tells the musician about his wife's greedy nature. He also requests him not to inform Kamuli that he is alive. In the meantime, Kayungu, a herdsman, wants to marry Kamuli in order to gain Kalikesi's money. Suddenly, Kalikesi wakes up and accuses his wife for her immoral behavior. He asks her to leave the house. Kamuli enjoys the musician's conversational style and agrees to go with him for her future life. Here I have given certain exercise as an assignment. You can read the questions and answer in my comment box. Thank you.